Hi, uh, Ken German here. I'm the Unstoppable Geek. I'm an author, speaker, and a certified uh, business coach. And one of the things I wanted to talk to you about is I wanted to talk to you today about, and it was just kind of a funny experience I was thinking about, is when I was younger, first learning how to ride a bicycle, I think I was around five years old. And I struggled with learning how to ride a bicycle, and it was really kind of interesting because my my father only allowed me to have my my actually my, my mom and dad only would have allowed me to have the, the training wheels on my bicycle for a short amount of time because they wanted to make sure that I would learn how to ride a bicycle and that I wouldn't have to have training wheels to hold me up while I was riding the bicycle. They, they don't want to have me. They want to be learn how to ride a bicycle. And I remember having several accidents and, and getting scarred up and getting beaten up from riding that bicycle and falling all the time and running into stuff and I remember coming home I remember going into the garage we had a two-car garage and my dad had the training wheels taken off my bicycle and I was a pretty smart kid at the young age and still I guess I still am but what was funny about the situation was is that I got the idea in my head that there's no way that I'm ever going to hurt myself again like that ever again. I'm just going to I'm going to just I'm going to sneak the training wheels back on my bicycle. So I went into the garage. This is at 5 years. I think I'm 5 years old. And I knew what wrenches to use and how to use them. And I proceeded to take my bicycle apart. So I could put the training wheels back on my bike. And just about as I got the training wheels back on my bicycle, my father comes around the corner and goes, Kenneth, because my dad's name is Kenneth, what are you doing? We talked about this. You're not supposed to do that. You're going to learn how to ride a bicycle. I'm like, Dad, I keep on hurting myself and blah, blah, blah. I just started crying. So you know, we're going to solve this problem right away. We're going to learn how to ride a bicycle the way my father taught me how to ride a bicycle. Now, my parents' house has a 400 foot driveway. And at the end of the driveway, it kind of tees off into a perpendicular, off into uh, two roads. There's one a road that kind of runs east and west, and then there's a road that runs north and south. But in order to get to the north and south road, you kind of have to veer off a little bit to the right coming out of our driveway. Otherwise, you're going to hit the curb. So after my father got, when my father was there, he says, well, you know, we're going to take care of this right away. We're going to get you riding the bike. So we're at the top of my 400 foot driveway. And you can imagine what's going to happen next. And I get on my bicycle, no helmets at the time. And my father's there, my mother's there, I think maybe my brothers were even there too. And they push me down that 400 foot driveway. And I am scared shitless. And they're going, pedal, 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 pedal. So I start pedaling, and I'm, I'm, I'm doing really, really well. I get down to about maybe three quarters down the driveway. And then, then they suddenly realize that, well, he's pedaling really good, but he's heading for the curb. And if he doesn't turn, he's going to crash. So they go, turn, don't forget to turn, turn right, turn right, watch the road. Because it's a, it's a, you know, it's a busy, it was a busy road, so they, you know, it, was, it was at night, so it wasn't too, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't dangerous. And you know, they, they had one of my, my, one of my, I think my brother was down there on the other road making sure that was, everything was going to be cool. But, you know, I'm like, I'm heading for that curb, I'm heading for that curb, I'm heading for that curb. And I just, okay, I just, I turned, boom. And I, and I avoided getting, I avoided crashing. And that was one of those experiences that just kind of stays with you for a long time in your life. I'm 46 now, so that was 
a long time ago. And that was just my experience about riding a bicycle. So then the next day, I didn't need training wheels. I had overcome my fear of failing. And I had overcome my fear of falling, of getting hurt on the bicycle. And that kind of reminded me about starting your business. That reminded me about the fear that many of us have in chasing our hearts. Quieting the mind, quieting the voice, and letting your heart speak. Because that fear that you have of crashing into that curb and getting hurt, once you overcome it, once you become a champion to that fear, you know that you can overcome anything. Once you become a champion to that pain. As I just found this quote recently, it was a Muhammad Ali, and this is kind of an ad lib, you know what, what from Muhammad Ali about, you know, that he, he hated the training, he hated the training, he hated the training, but he wanted to become a champion, and he was willing to do whatever it took to become a champion. So what's it gonna take for you to become a champion for yourself? What's it gonna take for you to become a champion for your family? What's it gonna take for you to step up your game to create a better life for your family? Because the future isn't looking pretty bright. As positive as a person as I am, my, the only path I could find was to create my own business. Because that's my passion, that's my purpose, is to help other people create part-time businesses that pay more than their full-time jobs. Why? So that you have the freedom in your life to pursue your dreams and passions. You have the ability to choose what you love to do for the love of doing it and not because you have to. So can you remember in your life where you had an experience in your, in your life where you were so afraid that, and that, that you, know, just, you were just terrified of that happening, crashing into a curb or whatever, some, some, some outcome that you thought was possible. You know, when you're going down a 400 foot driveway going, I don't know, 15, 20 miles an hour on a bicycle, I don't know how fast it was going, it was pretty fast for a five year old. Maybe a little bit older, I was, I was young. And then you have the courage to make that turn before you crash into the curb and realize, you know, this is freaking fun. This isn't as bad as I thought. So I'm challenging you to become the champion for yourself and the champion for to create a better life for you and your family. Because the opportunities are there if you're willing to take action, if you're willing to do something about it, if you're willing to get off your ass and listen to your heart, quiet your mind, quiet your voice, and just let God talk. Because he's guiding you in that direction. You just need to listen. So my name is Ken German. I'm a, this is part of the video challenge that I'm currently doing. And I'm here to help you be successful and I'm helping, helping you connect with your passion, helping you connect with your pur purpose, and helping you create a part-time business that pays more than your full-time job. So that you can have the freedom in your life to do what you love to do. Have an awesome day, and I will see you next time.